So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I showcase to you another crazy weapon. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so these Envoy's Horns, these weapons here are truly crazy. Now this is the baby one, this is the one you see a lot of those uh, Oracle Envoys having uh, the smaller ones, they have this weapon here. Then we have the medium sized ones, which have this one here, which is an unbelievably powerful weapon. And then, guys, we have the giant ones, the daddy ones, and they have this one here, which is what this video is all about. Jeez, check this out, guys, it is ridiculous. Okay, so baby one, medium beast envoy's great horn you can see it requires 28 strength 12 dexterity and 24 in faith now i actually got this farming yesterday because i made a video on this one yesterday absolute monster and i was recording my farm uh, for that video i had this one drop from the bigger guy which i didn't think they actually dropped anything and it is quite a beast it's quite a beast but guys Although it's the biggest, although it looks the baddest, and although it probably hits the hardest in regards to swinging it in someone's face, it actually ain't as good as this one. This one is way more powerful. I'm going to showcase this to you. I'm going to showcase this to you. Uh, before I show you how to get it, it's quite easy to get, guys, but I'll show you anyway. I'll show you anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to come up here to this uh, giant I always test things out on, just to get those damage numbers, just to see, like... If it's worth me taking up to a max level in regards to leveling up. Okay, so let this giant come down. Let this giant come down. I'm gonna pop a bubble in his face. Come on, boy. Go on. Is that all you got? I don't really want to shoot him in it. I want to shoot him in his chest. Boom! So you can see it does. 1559 damage. It takes about two thirds of his health off, probably a little bit more than that. Okay, so let me just reset this. Let's just reset this. And you'll see, guys, that although this is one big attack, one big bubble, this one, both nines as well, guys. Both nines as well. You'll see what this one does. You'll see what this one does. This one, guys, is utterly ridiculous. Like I said, you can basically farm this from the same spot as well. I'll show you in a second. Now I want to uh, do to you. There we go. <laughs> and you see all the spare bubbles, guys. You see all the spare bubbles. This one, it's all about this one. I know the video is about the great. It's not, it's about this one. It's, this is the best. This thing is utterly, unbelievably brutal. I'll use it on bosses. Okay, so I'm going to reset this. I'm going to take you to the farm. I used to farm these bad boys. Now you can farm the first two, so that would be this one and this one at the capital. Uh, if your capital hasn't been like destroyed, like mine has. So if you literally just come around here, you make your own here, and you you'll, you'll see about like a balcony, and you run past the more blowing these kind of trumpet weapons. Yep, the, you can farm it there. But where I go, guys, and it's much much better, is up to the Halig Tree area right up here and i've got guides on how you get up here i'll link them in the video description if you do want to come up here it's a great area to be honest loads of secrets up here loads of things to collect not too which ways about that guys so yeah guys uh totally just fell off the map mm, quick edit no one's gonna see it okay so another thing to mention there is this helmet in this area which i'll link down below within the video description raises the potency of both base skills it makes these weapons better for sure. Now, obviously, the small horns, the baby horns, you farm these dudes for, and they're absolutely everywhere, so don't worry about that. The uh, long horn, which is the best one, right there. This enemy here. And there's four in this area. You can see there's one there. There is, you can't see him from up here. There's one below me there, you can see, but you'll have to branch off. And there's another one there, you can see him right there. We'd have to run up the branches. I'll show you where you have to go. Let me just kill him. 
You have to be careful with these because they can fall off the map quite easily. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. And I can take that loot with them. So yep, there's one. There's another one just here right in front of us, you see. Now you want to try and get this guy from behind. So, I mean, if you got uh, stealthy on, just stealth. Just take him out. Now this main branch here, guys, is where you can branch off. So we progress that way towards that big guy who drops the Great Horn, which today's video is about. But yeah, if you jump across to this branch here, right in front of me, run to the top, you'll see there's a guy that drops a long one, the long horn, you can see him right at the top. This branch here, if you go up and branch off to the right, you'll see there's another guy up there that drops the long horn, the one we want, the best one. But if you go straight up the middle here, guys, go to the very top past these ants, you'll see, let's quickly run past him, I ain't gonna fight him and kill him. There's a guy up here who drops the great horn too. So you can farm him if you want to. That's completely up to you. I don't want to go off the map. Please don't keep me off the map. Yeah. But you'd have to kill all of them ants before you do that. Because they just are a pain in the ass for sure. They chase you. I don't leave you alone. I mean, wow. But there's another couple of these ads down here. So we've got another big guy in front of us. Uh, again, great horn. But this does take some skill because he's going to be actually shooting bubbles at you right here so you have to listen out to them and just dodge at the right time just like so and then you'll do it again just like so and then you should be good now you shouldn't really be able to get a third attack off of you on you now I would, I would recommend guys exploring this area there's a few things to collect if you haven't already so yeah then just come up here this is the big guy Take him out, like I said, though he eats hard, really hard. If he gets some bubbles off, if he gets some bubbles off, hey, it does some serious damage. So yep, he can drop the great horn. And if you come up here, guys, there's another big guy, a medium guy, and two small guys. Now, this is actually where I just fell off trying to fight them. They dumped me over and I fell off. But yeah. You know, I'm just gonna run in. If I die, I die, I ain't really bothered. I ain't really bothered. I'm going for this. I'm going for this guy. Though. Yeah, bitch. Bitch! Big guy, you coming for me? Are oh, you coming for me with that bubble? Coming for me with, for that bubble? Are oh, yeah? Yeah, big old motherfucker. Yeah, I like that feel. Eh? Eh. So, yeah. And there you have it, guys. There's also, I will say, a great little Oka Envoy Ashes here. I haven't actually tried it out yet. I need to level all these up and give them all good testing. Uh, this one here, look. Oka Envoy Ashes. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually on this body here. So yes, if you want that, that's what i got to do. And then once you're done, if you want to farm again, go straight back to the Halic Tree Canopy, Grace Point. And you are good, guys. You are good. And there we have it, people. That is how you farm and get all three of these weapons. I mean, if you want them, that is. Oh, like I said, I've tried and tested all of them. This one. Yeah, it could... Uh, Nah, I don't think so. This is by far the best. This one is unbelievably powerful. And then we have the big guy. Did I just go past him? I think I did. Yep, this guy, yeah. So, yeah. Although it's a single target here, it's one big bubble. This one does way more damage. It just, it's just better for most instances. So, yes, guys. And there we have it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.